G'day, my name's Pete and uh, today I'm going to be working on this jade tree. I, um, I have done this a video on this tree a couple of times, a few videos a couple of times. Um, the tree now at this moment is uh, 19 years, 10 months old approximately. Um, I'll, I'll put in the attachment below the videos but uh, yeah it's, it's just needed a little bit of refining today I've, I've let it go and get all this growth and now I need to just refine it my plan is is to reduce this down to here because I think it's a little bit too high so I'm going to do that I'm going to cut that off and then, uh, and then just, just get some of these branches that I think are suitable and get rid of the rest. <coughs> so that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do with the big cut first and remove this, this whole piece. Right through there I think that, that'll be fine right there and there we go there we go that's that could probably be turned into a tree, I guess. I'm not going to, though. Been in it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be better with this lower. I sort of wouldn't mind it being cut on a bit of an angle as well. The, the top of it here. I'll try using these cutters. Just want a bit of an angle. That wasn't very good. Just let that rot away. See how it looks over a bit of time. I don't like the, the straight cut on the top. This will rot away and look a bit better, I think, for it. Now it's just a matter of deciding what's going to stay and what's going to go. I think that branch there can stay.
Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, we'll keep that. Possibly. I'm not really sure what to do with the top of this. Um, so I'm, th I'm thinking of just letting it be a, a mass of growth on here as it is. Because I'm, yeah, I'm a bit unsure on how to design the top of this tree. So I think what I'll do is I'll just... Uh, Yeah, not sure. Not sure how to go about it. I'm just going to shape it as a as a big mess. And see how it looks and, and decide as I go whether that looks all right or whether I need to individualize some bits of it or whether as a big mass it looks okay because I really at the moment I'm just not really sure
not sure what the front of this tree is or anything at the moment. Sort of going with this sort of view. We'll just go with that for now, for that. It's not got a lot of shape in it, but it, um, I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'll just leave it for now. I can re keep, I can keep refining the until it gets too thick. I can reshape to a certain extent as I go, as it goes. I'm, I'm sort of liking the idea of this as a whole big mass of a, the tippy top of the tree. I'm looking at it here and I'm thinking, you know, that's that's not too bad. I will stop it growing outwards, straight out. I'll let it divide out instead. Okay, so I think I think that's the I think that's all I'm going to do for this tree. I'm going to keep the brick on it because it is still a it's still a very heavy ended tree. Give it a little spin for you. Take that away and see a look. So I'm thinking like that is going to be my front. This angle. Not sure. I'm also wondering about this wound here. What to do about this. Um, I'm wondering whether I should um, try carving it a bit this will drop out on its own in the end I am sort of curious on how it's looking in there. There we go. Okay, so there you go, I've, I've dug that out. Maybe I could carve it further back and then use a burner and blacken it like, a, like lightning's hit it and broke the branch off because that was a major branch there. But uh, oh, not sure. But anyway, I think it looks good. I like it. That's my front. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next week.